The project brief consisted of designing three advertising products for our film. The main product was a teaser trailer for a film and the other two a website and poster, all three based on my specific genre being social realism containing the conventions followed by my planning and research. My planning involved researching existing film posters, websites and trailers. This was examining common conventions used to make these products look professional. The film products I looked at were Shank, Kiddlehood and Bullet Boy as these all tied in with the genre of film I had chosen being social re realism, urban youth. Common conventions for posters that I would found and applied for my research are The title of the film to be linked with the film or genre This is a method used by films analysed in my research making the title appeal to the target audience more using three main colours to represent connotations as it creates a brand image in a typical genre, using reviews to sell the film as they can be trusted by their readers, using clothing and props to represent the genre as it ties in with the mise-en-scene and represents the genre of film, using a catchy tagline to get people to remember it and make them want to find out more about the film, ensuring there is a bidding block as it's compulsory for making it look realistic and professional. Have the link for the website to make the viewer go onto the website and find out more about the film. Show the distributor as they may be known to the genre and appeal to the target audience. The main image should represent the genre so it looks appealing to the target audience. Trailer. Common conventions that I found and applied for my research are for the distributor at the start of the film to make it realistic and look professional, non didactic instrumental throughout the trailer as through my research it was wanted by the target audience and also consists throughout the genre showing structure but not too much of the film to make the viewers want to know what happens next captions are used to help explain the film as it allows a sense of narrative using the same fonts used in a website and poster so the font builds a brand image of genre using conventional shots Location inc including graffiti and alleys as it represents the street and ties in with the genre of urban youth. For the clothing to be conventional to the genre so it's easily recognised by the, its target audience. Common conventions challenge from the research would be no speech used in the trailer to hide any accent to try and attract larger audience and make the viewers think. No credits, this was because the Trailers I looked at on YouTube did not have them and I realised now that they were unofficial. Website. Common conventions that I found and applied to my research are using the same image on the poster for the web website as films research had done this. Showing prizes. Simple layout. Hyperlinks shown cl clearly so links are easy to use. Showing reviews. Quotes as they are trusted by readers and they are more likely to believe them using a billing block as it's compulsory for making a film look realistic and professional tagline to get people to remember it and make them want to find out more about the film distributors logo as they may be known to the genre and appeal to the target audience facebook like button to spread the word about the film which is a below the line method of advertising showing the teaser trailer so viewers can watch it through producing my planning, it has allowed me to understand the conventions of urban youth the social realism genre. Also, it has given me ideas on what I needed to do and use to attract my target audience of young adults aged 15 to 21. I know that reviews have a big impact on attracting people's eye as they would think that it's a good film if it's recommended by large established film magazine companies. This common convention is used by Kiddlehood and Bullet Boy, have, which have both used quotes from reviews helping to attract the target audience and making the viewer think that they want to watch it. Although two characters are shown on the poster, the trailer features a lot of the main character. This is creating an enigma for the viewers as they may start to think who the character is and then they can use their imagination to think who they are, this also making the viewer go onto website and find out more or even watch watch the film when it comes out it appeals to the target audience and they may have trust in the company or have liked a film and recognize the company's name narrative is shown through the trailer by text yet also
through mise-en-scene being clothing of the characters. I have used a background relating to the genre of the film. This was a convention used in Shank and Kidulthood. This convention has been developed as it's not scenery of the street, but it still relates to the genre as the main images of a roulette board, which can connote the need for money representing gambling. I have added the lo logo of Revolver Distribution Company based in the UK, who have previously been known to distribute films of the same genre, such as Kidulthood, to add authenticity to the poster, yet also to make the people want to watch the film as they may like Kidulthood. Furthermore, the name of the distribution company Revolver is another name for a gun. This also represents the genre and, and it would appeal to the target audience. Certain aspects of trailer and ancillary text are highly effective, such as fonts used in all three products. The font consistently used is Headline 1. This is very similar to the fonts used in my research on Shank and Kidulthood and makes the product look realistic to the genre I have used. Also, it tells the viewers of the genre of film. Images used throughout the products are highly effective. This would be because they represent the genre of urban youth. Props are used such as ba baseball bat on the post and website representing violence. Paracetamol on the post and website representing drugs. Graffiti in the trailer is representing an urban environment. Furthermore, black and white colours on the poster and the website making the website stand out as they are binary opposites. The use of red could be connoted danger, violence or bloodshed. This shows the narrative what would take part in the film. Black, white and grey or red are commonly used for posters and websites for films of an urban youth genre. The colours act like a brand image bringing the genre to the product what is recognisable from the target audience. The billing block is conventional to films and has been placed on the website and poster which was downloaded from a font called Steel Tongues. This made it much easier to write. The font should be small in comparison to all the fonts and products. The products can be identified by the colours black, white and red by the continuity of the features. This also ties in with the mediums of targeting the audience. Apple iMac. The iMac had the software needed to produce my website and evaluation therefore it played a major part of creating my products. Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is a new computer software that has helped me construct my trailer. It has allowed me to capture footage I had taken from my digital video camera, then the clips what I wanted, I dragged the footage onto the timeline having tools available to create effects. It also allowed me to watch the trailer whilst I was creating it, which helped me take my time to edit my footage. Furthermore, it allows non-linear editing to take place what makes editing easier as it's a lot more flexible than linear editing. You will be able to film in any order so you can film the end of the film first as it makes recording more appropriate for the user. GarageBand GarageBand is a new music software that has been installed onto the iMac. I have used this for my non dramatic music what plays throughout the trailer. The software allows you to create your own music from scratch yet it also has music clips so you can make an instrumental through created tunes. Photoshop Photoshop allowed me to create my poster and website by using original images I had taken from, from a camera and editing them for example pictures I would cut out using the magnetic lasso tool. Photoshop allowed me to easily add layers of text and images onto the page it helped me step by step create both the website and poster. WordPress WordPress is an online blog where you can post documents onto your profile as drafts if they are unfinished as they can be edited and posted when finished. It is good because it encourages a structure although this can be difficult to keep in order as it demotivates and after any piece of work it what's adjusted you have to go onto the internet to repost work. Furthermore when the internet is down or there is a faulty connection you are unable to post your work on the blog. Digital scanner. The storyboards I drew up to help me with my recording had to be scanned scanned in and made digital so it could be shown on WordPress. Digital Video Recorder This gave me a better quality image for recording the trailer although there are better video recorders out there which would have made my scenes look even better quality. Internet The internet played a big part in my project. This is because all of my images, for example 
the shank poster and website and also the trailer off YouTube. Furthermore, WordPress, the online blog, would not be able to have been used without the internet.